Marta, you told me earlier about this wonderful story whereby it's not just about teaching language, but it has really changed someone's life. You've got to tell people about oh, this. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, well, I've been teaching Spanish for 20-something years, and uh, one of my um, achievements in the, uh, the last six months has been teaching the Spanish to a person, an English um, uh, gentleman, right. who didn't know anything about English grammar. Right. Therefore, he couldn't learn Spanish or any other languages because right. he didn't have the basis right. so he went to a level of um, being fluent in Spanish and uh, in order to it's, it's motivation. <laughs> yes, you've it got is to motivation. tell people it's a motivation to get married to a Latino girl yeah. a Colombian girl so yeah. he uh, achieved that with patience and persistence and motivation so but he learned the language but did she say yes Oh, that's next month, actually. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> what, the wedding? So the, the, the wedding, yeah. Oh, it's a really yeah, did. Absolutely, yeah. Right. So it is a very recent one. It took six months, but I believe that when one teaches Spanish, not only teaches the language, but the culture. Yes. And as a client, uh, I think we need to uh, take into consideration his uh, skills, yeah. his strengths and his weakness yeah. as a person. So I think the motivation from the part of the, uh, uh, the person also, who is the to meet her family as well, though, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. I mean, what was yeah. that film, Love Actually, wasn't it? Where oh, they, yes, that's right. Um, I can't remember. Was it in Portugal or somewhere like that? Yeah. And they didn't speak the language. That's they fell right. in love and he yeah. learned the language. It's, <laughs> it's just that exactly yeah. again, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Martin, just tell us a little bit about how you formed the business. Now, I mean, we can tell straight away that, you know, you're probably a Spanish speaker anyway, but why did you decide to set up a teaching business? Uh, it was a niche market, actually, because it was only Spanish from Latin America at the beginning. That was in 1996 I started. Mm. And uh, it went uh, in the whole of the UK. So I had clients in Scotland and I have clients in Wales and everywhere because it was just Latin America. And right. I have a team of 20 people, teachers right. and translators. So right. we cover the Latin American region. So you'd also identified that as a market that needed addressing? Yes, because when the, the problem is that people here, um, they, they are not encouraged to learn a, a second language or a third language. Yeah, absolutely. So when you become a business person and you want to open the market in an area which has 600 million people mm -hmm. and you don't speak the language and you don't know anything about the culture, yeah. that is a big uh, uh, block for your business. Yeah. Once you know the culture and the language, Latin American is yours. Mm. But who is it? Why did you particularly go for Spanish for Latin America? What was what was the need that you'd identified? The difference between the the well, there is a lot of ignorance here in yeah. the UK about mixing the two cultures, Spain and Latin America. We yeah. are completely different markets. Yeah. We are completely different people. In Latin America, we have the same culture, the same mm. history, the same language. But what was it people were looking for? Was it because, uh, well, the rise of Latin American culture is becoming more popular all the time? You've got yes, everything from even the most simple things, like we're in Las Iguanas at the moment mm. in Kingston, mm. Mm. Um, to business. It's been growing throughout the last 20 years. Uh, people are more aware that Spanish people are different from Latin American people. Mm. And we speak, the rapport is different. The, 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 the way, the, the space, you know, between the, the sentences is, is longer. Right. It's just different. I mean, it's all sort of the hand actions as well. I'm mm. seeing, you know, you are a very much more animated person. Mm. You really bring that into it as well. My classes it's are very a, dynamic. Uh, I, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I, we've done stuff together yeah. before and yeah. it's very active. Look, you, you've also got uh, a real tip about dealing with clients and about how to approach people. We were mentioning this at the beginning of the show. Just tell us a bit about your yeah. approach then. Well, a client is someone that you give, uh, uh, you want to help rather than to get something from them. So your attitude should be, I am here to help you. That money should not be a stop. Yep. So if the person needs to open the market in Latin America, if the person wants to marry a Latina, if a person wants to just go to Latin America for a holiday, you need to help that person to get to the objective he or she wants. Yeah. So you listen carefully, you develop that person, you, you teach that person, and in exchange, they give you money. Mm. Money is not the priority. You need to help, you need to approach this person with high regard yeah. and, and, and empathy, and therefore listening the skills. Yeah. Once you have all that, then you say, this is what you need, and I yeah. will let, get you to yeah. what you want to achieve. This one lesson, 
or 10 lessons or 30 lessons or whatever. So it's don't ask for the money. No. Tell them what you can do, how you can yeah. change their life, how you can change, solve their yeah. problem. Yeah. And then the money actually becomes just a, a it's, side it's, thing. It's an attitude that everybody should have. I believe that we are here to help other human beings. Mm. That through our business, people get blessed and get better. Because our business is to help human beings. And through that helping, it comes your financial reward yep. rather than the other way around. Rather than, oh, how much am I going to get out of here? Sometimes yeah. there is no money exchange. Sometimes you do it for free. Mm. And I have done that many times. Yes. Yeah, it's all part of marketing as well, is doing it that way. But it is providing a solution to a problem, isn't it? I believe yeah. that the, 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 the objective you always, your first object is here, you are here to help. Yes. And even if people say, well, it's part of marketing, as you just said, actually, it's the other way around. You see the need that people need to understand the culture of Latin America yeah. to get better, to learn yeah. from this culture, which is beautiful. It's people are so positive, and and, and 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 I want to teach that to people. I can to feel get it coming <laughs> across from you. Positive God. and happy. <laughs> It's always a pleasure talking to you. Um, you see, this is the kind of thing you can get. I've said this many times before on this show. If you come along to networking, not only can uh, Marta teach you Spanish and get you ready. I mean, particularly, you know, you look at the American market now, so, uh, the southern part of the United States, the whole of South American continent. Spanish is such a huge language, important Absolutely. of it now. So anyway, Marta can teach you that, but she can also give you some great advice on business as well. 